glorious thing. Students. 40 years. Wow. 
Yeah, it, it just kind of flew by, and we have, uh, you know, you kind of keep up with people through the years, even though you don't get to sit down and talk to them every day, but you just pick up that conversation where it left off, and, you know, uh, I remember, you know, fun stories that we shan't repeat, because we both know stuff. Sweating. Yes. Well, trust me, dude, I'm not telling anybody. Um, but it's just what an honor. just an honor to be here, and um, I, I think I should have a little fun, though. Uh, I need to have fun, too. I want you to come on up. No, no story. I promise, no stories. However, Bobby and I took the same classes, you know, the same people that, that trained me in church music and trained Bobby. Bobby, we were taught from day one that the most important choir in any church is what choir? The tithers. No, that's a pastor. Yeah, that's a pastor. No, the no. congregation. The congregation is the most important choir. And so we just sang four pieces of music that says, let the people rejoice, let the people proclaim. And so we want to do that. You know what we've never gotten to do in 40 years is sing together. So I think we should sing for the You're going to lead it, and I brought, got you pulling in some help here for you, and I'm going to sing with you, and we're going to ask the congregation to sing, and the first song you may not know, but it's really not that hard, so I don't want to see anybody like this. Okay? <laughs> would you stand and would you sing with us? Praise is the offer. One, two, three, four.
Well, listen, you may not can tell, but I'm from the South. <laughs> now that shocks you a little bit. And, uh, you know, but all of the great music that has come out of America is from the South. Amen. Jazz, come on. Blues. Of course, country. Rock and roll. You know who you are. <laughs> Southern gospel, Southern gospel, gospel. Listen, all the great music has come from where we have had the privilege to live. Uh, the crawl gets to go a lot of places, and we sing them, and, you know, just kind of all over it. You know, if the Lord lets me live long enough and keeps writing that check, we're going to do some a lot of other places. Up north, even. We've been up north. Um, and when we go up north, and, and certainly when we sing in schools, public schools, we can use the music of the South, even gospel music, to share the gospel of Christ. That's, that's one of the reasons we do it. So this is our southern set. Okay? Now listen, maybe you can help me with this. This is uh, the mom of, the, her most important role is that this is Lauren's mom. Lauren, raise your hand. Uh, her name, she does have a name, Sandra. And Sandra is a professor of voice at LSU, and, and her sister is my good friend. We've worked together for 100 years. And uh, maybe you can help me fix this. And this song, which is uh, Hallelujah By and By, we keep putting an I-N-G on the end of words because we yell at them all the time. Finish your words. But on this song, I don't want to hear any I-N-G words. No ing words. And I'm having the hardest time, so you listen for it and help me get rid of
talking my language. <laughs> good. good. You know, we, Miss Vale and Miss Armstrong, and I, we can't get away from our professor Ness. We test these guys all the time, all the time, and we thought that'd be fun to do tonight. Just you know, have a little pop quiz. So uh, Miss uh, Vale, is, as I said, is a professor of piano and organ, and our piano majors are supposed to all be prepared to accompany this next piece. It's a two piano thing, and uh, so we're going to do that. Uh, just so that the, our congregation will know, if you're a piano major, would you raise your hand? And we know who you are anyway, so don't try to hide. <laughs> okay. You know what, Miss Bell? I at least think since uh, her mom is here tonight, <laughs> she probably has to be one of them. And then, Miss Bell, you pick, you pick uh, victim number two. <laughs> Bobby, I know you want to do no, this. I know. <laughs> Heidi, all right, here we go. Heidi. You know what? Since he didn't get picked tonight, Carlos, why don't you come conduct it? Uh, you ought to be able to do that. Carlos is a, a senior uh, vocal performance and piano performance major from the Dominican Republic. And uh, so, you know, he barely speaks the language, but I bet you can get this done. Okay, go. <laughs>
come to church Sunday and Wednesday and you don't think it should be fun, you've missed something. Amen. There's nothing wrong with having a great time in church. Right. And we and we do. When we sing together, share the gospel together, we have fun. Bobby, when we make this transition, I always read this passage of scripture because it's it's uh, everybody knows it. I've known it since I was about four years old, but I'm just terrified that I'm not going to get something right about it. And we say it and we quote it all the time, but I want to read it because I'm going to put some stops in it. And it's the stops in the scripture that are important and I hope will make us all think. And it says, even though I walk, me, Don Oden, walk through the valley of the shadow of death, and one day I will walk through that. I've walked through that with loved ones, with some of our friends, Bob. We're going to all walk through that, that valley someday. Even some of them have walked through that. I will fear no evil. We don't have to be afraid of evil. There's evil all around us, but we don't have to be afraid of that. And yet, sometimes as Christians especially, we choose to live in fear. For thou art with me, you are my rod and my staff, and they comfort me. All the things that you have at your discretion, Lord, that you can use, they're there to protect me. And I forget that sometimes. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. If you know Christ, you have seen the goodness and mercy that has followed you all the days of your life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And that's the part that this next set of songs is about. It's the dwelling in the house of the Lord. It's thinking about the things that are important. It's not just the happy, good, field time Christianity. It's that part that we have to be real honest with in the time of fear. That we can trust that the Lord has already thought about these things for us. And He invites us along.
that's, that's what we believe and that's what we've come to proclaim. Uh, Bobby, you know, I know you grew up the way I did. When we would have a time of invitation, we would sing some really slow funeral song. <laughs> I never quite got that. And I still don't. And so we don't do that. This is our invitation song, and it's a doxology. It says, not unto us, but to him, to you, O Lord. And so we use this as an invitation song. So, Pastor, I'm going to ask that you come and, and listen. Just because you came to church on Tuesday night doesn't mean you can't have a new experience with Christ. Yeah. You, know, we, you know, we hope that you have found a blessing, that you've heard the gospel, that you've heard the truth proclaimed, and that, you know, maybe there's something in your life that you've been struggling with, you know, and I'm not talking about, you know, you shot somebody or you stole something. I'm talking about you just, maybe, you, like we heard a guy preach on Sunday, maybe there's too much month for the money this month. That happens sometimes, doesn't it? Whatever it is. <laughs> you know. Um, you come. Bobby will be here and we're gonna we're gonna sing this this doxology as an invitation.
we're going to sing two more songs for, uh, for you. And the last one, we have a tradition that if you're a carry along and we know there's one, we ask that you stand. And Bobby, you, we've sung this together a thousand times. So if you don't stand, you're going to get tackled. So, no, 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 this isn't it right now. We're going to do one more. We're going to sing a, a great song. Uh, just one of my favorite songs of this year, and uh, we kind of switch up the duets every night. And is there a microphone? Okay. Which, which one do you want? All oh, right. We're off. We're on. <laughs> this is this name of this song is the Great Day, and there will be a great day when we get to bow before the Lord and proclaim that He is King. And, uh, so that's what this one's about. 